Hey there my wedding planning friends and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks so much for clicking on my video. I'm Emily Summer, I'm a wedding planner based in Montana and if you didn't know I also own Velvet Bride which is a wedding dress store in Missoula as well and I make weekly videos on wedding planning tips and advice. So today we're going to be talking about more on the other business that I have and that is the wedding dress store. And I reached out to some former brides, current brides, brides that have gone dress shopping and um, I wanted to compile a list of some of the best and worst advice brides have received when wedding dress shopping. participate in the videos that I do where I ask for feedback, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, the wedding dress shop is at Velvet Bride and then the wedding planning is just at Emily Summer Studios. You can give your opinion on certain topics that I do and also if you have suggestions on any other video topics you'd like to see. So let's start with the best advice first. So I saw a lot of similar advice from brides when it came to good advice before wedding dress shopping, many of which surrounded around the idea of keeping an open mind. And this is something that I always recommend to brides before they are wedding dress shopping. And that is to keep an open mind on what you think you might like versus what you actually like when you start putting dresses on your body and actually trying them on. And so that is to say, it's a good idea to you know look at photos and get maybe an idea of what you think that you like, but don't get so set onto a particular style of dress or a particular dress in itself that you aren't open to trying other things on. Because what I see so often in the store is when a bride has a very specific vision of what she wants, a lot of times, once they start trying that on, they realize that's not the best option for them or their body or didn't, doesn't look the way they think it's going to look or something like that. And then it's really hard to move past that once you already have this set vision in your mind because then you have to kind of shift what you thought you were going to wear on your wedding day and kind of shift the overall vision. And that can be really difficult for a lot of brides to do. So keep an open mind, try on things you maybe thought you wouldn't try on, have a couple of friends pick out a couple of things that know you well, that know your style, that, um, and, and don't judge something off the hanger. That brings me to the next one is don't completely judge a dress just from hanging on the rack. So obviously it's going to look totally different hanging on a hanger than it's going to look on your body. And if you're looking at a dress and you know, right off the bat, you hate the color or you hate the lace or something like that that you can tell without putting it on, sure, that's fine. But if you're unsure of a dress and you like kind of the pattern that's happening, you like the fabric, you like the feel of it, you're interested in it, but you don't you don't really like the way it looks on the hanger, try it on. Things look so different on the hanger than they do on your body and that's kind of the point. And the same way that a, one dress can look one way on somebody and look completely different on a different person. So. Don't completely judge a dress just from hanging on the rack. And if it interests you in any way, try it on. Number three, trust your own instincts. You in your heart are going to know what the best dress is for you, what you're going to like the most. And sometimes it's easy to be influenced by other people's opinions, but you're gonna know what is best for you. So pay attention to how you're feeling in a dress, pay attention to your immediate reaction and your immediate bodily response to a dress when you try it on and trust your own instincts. Don't let somebody talk you out of something that you love just because they don't love it. Number four, stay true to your own personal style. It's okay to try things that are a little bit out of your comfort zone, maybe not something you would normally wear. If there was ever a day to wear something that you wouldn't normally wear, it should be your wedding day, right? But that isn't to say that you should completely, you should try something that doesn't feel like you, like you, like you don't feel like you're true to being true to yourself or true to your style. And maybe that's um, trying on a dress or choosing a dress because it's super trendy right now. If, if it's really trendy and you're kind of a trendy person and you like to stay up on the trends and that's something that you do often, then sure, buy the trendy dress. But if you're somebody that doesn't typically align with what that style of dress is, don't buy it or don't be interested in it just because it's like the hot dress right now or your stylist tells you it's a big seller or you've seen it in a bunch of magazines. Whatever the reason, if it's not true to your personal style, if you don't feel like yourself, if you don't feel good in it, it's not your dress. Next, consider the location of your wedding. And that isn't to say base your decision on your dress, on your location or your venue, but this is helpful if you are torn between a couple of dresses. Um, it's good to think about kind of the atmosphere you'll be in, not only aesthetically, but also the elements of the earth. So if you're getting married outside, is it grass? Is it cement? Is it um, out in a field where your dress can get caught on things? If you have a tool skirt, 
Uh, that gets caught on a lot of sticks. It can get snagged very easily and that's something to consider when it does come to choosing your dress. But again, don't completely base your dress decision on the location of your wedding. And finally, trust your stylist. If you are going to a professional you know, bridal salon where you have a bridal stylist working with you, you want to trust their expertise and listen to the suggestions that they have. It's okay if you don't love a dress they suggest, but at least listen and give it a chance because they are there to help you. They're there to help you find your perfect wedding dress. Um, they're there to watch your body language, to pick out things that you say that you like and dislike about certain dresses and to come up with some solutions for you and maybe pick out a dress that you wouldn't have seen yourself or thought of yourself that has some of the elements that you've been saying out loud that you want. So trust that your stylist is there for your best interest and be open to the suggestions that they may present you with. I said finally, but I have one more. Um, do some research. So this is, this is great advice, whether that is looking at the Instagram of the local salon that you plan to go to or just looking at wedding dresses in general. I just want to circle back to what we talked about at the very beginning is not to get a very set idea on what you like or what you want, but it's good to at least see what you're initially drawn to, see what your, where your style kind of lies, what you think you might like, what you want to try on, um, while also keeping an open mind. Okay, let's move on to the worst advice given. Now, just a little disclaimer here. Um, some of this advice might work for some people, but overall, a lot of this advice is just pigeonholing brides into a certain place and isn't necessarily the best advice when it comes to wedding dress shopping. First one is the concept of the more the merrier. Um, this is the idea of bringing a bunch of people to your bridal appointments so that you can include everyone that's important to you and also get all of their opinions so that you make sure that you pick a dress that everybody loves. Um, this is not great advice in my opinion. Um, I have seen so many appointments where there are a large group of people there, everyone's giving their opinions and it can be really confusing for the bride. It can be really overwhelming for the bride too because if you love something and everybody's talking you out of it or they don't love it or they love a dress differently, it's really easy to be persuaded by other people's opinions. And what's gonna happen is on your wedding day, maybe you're just alone getting into your wedding dress or when you go and pick up your wedding dress by yourself and you don't have other people's opinions and you don't love the dress as much as everybody else does, you're gonna know that and you're gonna feel that and that's not the way that you should feel in your wedding dress. So if you have a lot of people that you want to bring and incorporate, just make sure that you trust them, you know what their opinions, how opinionated they might be, and that they are friends that know you well and have your best interests at heart and understand your style and can kind of speak to that during the appointment. Number two, always size up. So while this is true, if you are in between sizes, I always recommend going up a size. It's much easier to take a dress in than it is to let it out. However, you shouldn't just size up for the sake of sizing up so that you can take it in if you need to. If a stylist is taking your measurements and recommends a certain size for you, don't just size up just because it feels more comfortable because you could end up paying a lot more in alterations to bring that down than if you were to just go with a size that you're in between and maybe take in alterations here and there. So again, if you're in between sizes, always a good idea to size up, but that doesn't mean you should always size up. Number three, stick to one silhouette you like. Um, if you have tried on one of every kind of silhouette, and you have determined that you like one the best, sure, stick to that silhouette. But don't go in thinking, oh, this is what's gonna look best on my body because somebody told you that, or you read that somewhere, or you saw that on a TV show, or something like that. Don't pigeonhole yourself into a specific silhouette because you think that's what's going to look best on you until you have tried on other silhouettes, other shapes to determine that that is really what your favorite type is. And then, then you can narrow it down and then you can try on only that silhouette so that you're not having all of these options. But don't do that until you know for sure and you have ruled out other shapes. And finally, try on as many dresses as possible. Don't do that. <laughs> it just gets so overwhelming to try on tons and tons and tons of dresses at multiple stores. Even tons of dresses in one store can be overwhelming. If you are have a pretty good idea of what you like, if you've tried on at least one dress of every shape, every kind of style, and you can figure out a little bit more of what you like, you don't need to try on a bunch of dresses just for the sake of trying them on, just to make sure you don't love them. If you, once you start figuring out what you like, it's okay to stick to that lane and just try on things in that lane. And you can just cut yourself off at one point. If, if you're finding dresses that you really do love and maybe you're trying to decide between three or four dresses and you could see yourself wearing any of those dresses on your wedding day, stop adding to the mix, stop trying things on. If you find dresses that you love, 
then you've got a good option there. You have good opportunities to find your dress. If you're trying on dresses and you like kind of like things, but you kind of don't like things, you don't love it, then sure, continue to try dresses on. But you don't need to try dresses on just for the sake of trying them on or feeling like you're missing out once you've found dresses that you absolutely love. When it comes to wedding dress shopping, I'm sure lots of people will want to give their opinion and there is great advice and there is some not so great advice. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to get weekly videos on wedding planning tips and advice and we'll see you next week.